Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some more Samba Night, Holy Night, the read-along that just won't stop, that keeps on going. Today's video, I realized that I'm not going to be able to finish Samba Night, Holy Night <laughs> in time if I keep doing it in 10 minute chunks. So for this one, no matter what, it's going to be a long one, because I'm going to beat it all the way. All the way, day five. Savagery and energy and stuff we received, let's do it. Um, I'm pretty sure everything is out now. So let's get it done. And you can show support for me reading this. A lot of people have been very nice telling me that they enjoy this and I thank you guys and comment telling me nice stuff or leave a like. Either one. I, I enjoy either one to be honest. Uh, let's see. We are keeping the theme. By the way, my quest is now NP2. So wash out everyone. Y'all in danger now. When she was already NP1, I was beating ass. Now... I'm beating hella ass. Okay, I think I want to switch this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. I've been burned too many times. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Savage dream innocence deceived. Oh, I shouldn't use Quetz because she's never mind. The match is coming up in a few hours. How are you feeling? I'm sorry, I think... I'm going to do this more. I'm sorry, I think I still need more time. How do you do Quince's voice? I, I'm sorry, I think I still need more time. Please don't apologize. Honestly, I'm sorry that I couldn't do more to help. If you were a normal human, I would just use Purification Miracle to cleanse the poison. But since you're a god with this region, well... Alright, I'll go tell Bradamante and Woka you can't compete. Hold on. Is that just you? It's just you and me here right now, yes? Hmm, yes, I believe so. Bradamante and Woka are both outside getting ready. Perfect. You see, I still have one last idea. I think you'll understand if you see it for yourself. Is that? <gasps> So she's still not up, huh? I guess she can compete after all. So she's still up, huh? Four. Quit the quadro. It looks like you'll still need more time to let the poison run its course. I can't let you step in the ring when you're not even fully recovered. I know I still haven't reclaimed my power, but I can't ask a friend and ally to sacrifice her life just for that. That would go against everything I stand for as a knight. So even if we can't keep competing together, that doesn't mean I'm giving up. After I've officially withdrawn, I'll find a new way to pursue my nightly duties. One where I can still hold my head high and... I feel better than ever. For what? Huh? Huh? That's strange. One moment, I forgot to turn off Do Not Disturb. It was actually already on. Go me. There's something different about you, but I can't put my finger on it. Still, you're wearing a ring costume and your mask, so you must be my partner, right? Uh, different. Why would you think it's something different? This is this is Martha pretending to do what's a called voice. Can't you see what I'm wearing on my mask on my head? Who could I be but Quetzal Mask? Right, Master. Oh yeah, you're a wrestler if I've ever seen one. You're such an actor, it's scary. Right! It actually scares me a little too. But then of course it would, seeing as we're both rulers. Our whole existence is the passing on the ruling things, right? So I've always been the ruler of the ring. <sighs> pow, pow! <laughs> Just look how nimble I am. You can see the poison's all gone, and I'm in great shape, too. Right? Hey, that's great. I knew that. Shameful attempt at poison. <laughs> you would be useless against a heart so just. Fall. What is it, Lord Fall? I'm always glad to hear anything a, a friend of Lord Merlin has to say. No comment, Fall. I guess Bradamante is rather too pure to see what's going on. I think it would be best if we didn't burst her bubble. So, um, I, if you don't mind, if I whisper here, but are you serious about this? 
Yes, good point. <laughs> I guess I did get a bit carried away. I'm calmer now. I asked her if she was serious too, Mash. Ugh, I forgot that I'm still- what, now, <laughs> When she's talking to Mash, she wouldn't be using the Cow Dracula voice. But she just looked me right in the eye and said I was the only one who could do this. How could I say no to that? So I decided to, to set aside our religious differences. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> How could I say no to that? I decided to, <laughs> decided to set aside our religious differences and accept. <laughs> As a friend of a rogue spirit and a fellow woman warrior, I felt as the least I could do. And truly, the thought of having no, for no forfeit because of something so vile and underhanded kills me. It would mean all the work I've done as a coach would be for naught. So I figured cutting loose and engaging in a bit of mild shenanigans would at least be better than doing nothing. Heh, <laughs> I guess Bradamante's tendency must have rubbed off on me. You don't think anyone will catch on? Don't worry, no one will figure out who I am as long as I keep this mask on. Quetzalcoatl was adamant that masks provide a rank noble phantasm level identity concealment in a lucha match. I'm guessing that's more everyone playing along than an actual effect. Still, are you sure it's okay to pretend like this, especially coming so soon after all the cheating in that last bath? Let me actually... I'll get... Uh, remind me when we start fighting that there's a funny story to go with that. I asked Quetzalcoatl about that myself, and her response was, Sometimes gods turn into things that are just not to mess with humans, yes? So I think it's fine. Wait... <laughs> I asked Quetzalcoatl about that myself, and her response was, Sometimes gods turn into things they're not just too best with humans, yes? So I think it's fine. But let me see. So are you sure it's a pretty like especially coming so soon after all the cheating of the last one? Okay. So on that note, you can call my new Quetzal mask. Call me the new Quetzal mask. Now that I've recovered from being poisoned, I'm back with many more punches and kicks than before. So please pay it no mind in my fighting style. It is completely different than it was before. I have to admit, it's nice that wearing this ass makes it so I don't have to be so constantly focused on making sure I exude an order of saintlessness. I don't really get it, but you got it. I'll make sure to follow your lead, especially since you only just recovered. Just tell me, what can I do to make it easier for you to fight? I will. Now then, let's go kick some ass. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so you defeated the American team and the Chinese team, huh? Well, that's nothing. They may have been the most cruel and sadistic of the four Heavenly Kings, but we're the wildest and the toughest. Get ready for the biggest twist of this whole event. Just be not careful, just be careful not to keel over from the shock. We represent the Animal Kingdom, <laughs> I never thought you'd have to fight one of this event's officials. No, I had a feeling this was coming. And this is my trusty partner. As soon as I saw her, I knew she was the one. Just look at that wild boar on her shoulder. And the outfit, it's perfect for wrestling. I don't think you'll find a better warrior for the Animal Kingdom anywhere in the world. Please do not stare at me. This was all her idea. She convinced me to join by pointing that a never-ending Christmas would also be never-ending smile upon children, but I just cannot get used to fighting for a show like this. She seems more embarrassed to be here than anything, but the fact that this team made it this far means they must be stronger than they seem. We can't let our guard down around them. Of course not! They are immediately worthy opponents! Mwahaha! <laughs> Only worthy? Girl, we're this tournament's apex predator. She doesn't have a clue. I had no idea mask really works this well. Bet you thought I was just Dark Cuckoo's tame house cat, don't ya? Just thought I was an adorable, diligent kitten running around as her master's bidding. But all this time, you were blind to the secret truth. The fact that we totally stole info about all our opponents. That's true. All the ones leading all the different teams around and carrying messages between them. Jaguar War would be able to enter each team's training gym without arousing suspicion. 
That way, she could learn who's each team's member and their fighting style. All sorts of information that could give her an advantage in a tournament like this. I took you for the cat, but it seems you're... It seems you're more of a... <laughs> I took you for the cat, but it seems you're more of a rat. Our last opponents were apparently not the only vermin skirting around this place. I thought Black Quetzal Mask was trying to hold a fair, legitimate tournament. Are you sure she would approve of you blatantly cheating like this? You know what makes wild animals wild? The fact that they'll do anything it takes to survive. Would you blame a chameleon for blending in? An opossum for playing dead? A sloth for being lazy? No wait, scratch that last one. Those things actually die if they exert themselves too much. Anywho. Well, since Star Cuckoo hasn't actually said anything about it all this time, I'm positive she's cool with it, meow. I have no interest in cowardice or honor. Survival is all that matters. Besides, I'm sure there's a secret place where the results are revealed, or an illegal way to watch the matches. There must be, given that there must be, given that the people appear to be betting on them. What are you talking about? Children often get up to me whenever I am out in the town lately. They ask for my autograph, or to shake my hand, or if there's any news of a figurine being made of me. I am told that Mexican children <laughs> look up to the strong wrestlers, so they just must, must know that I am one. Hey, you, could, you should see the way they smile at me. <laughs> Indeed, it is those smiles I fight for, and they are why I must keep winning. They are all that I need in this world. That's the spirit. Anyway, thanks to my little bit of subterfuge, my spine went perfectly. I know everything about you, your moves, your combinations, your weaknesses, everything. At this point, the forest fourth dimension, that's our team name, BD Dubs, all but has this in the bag. The Samba counter hold I came up with for this day is so tight you're gonna feel your limbs are snapping. So go on, dance as much as your silly Samba as you like. It's not like it'll do, us, do you any good, meow. Silently raising fists. Uh, did you hear me? I said dance all the silly Samba you want. Stepping in closer, fist raised. Huh? Orthodox Karate was a... With a super low center of gravity, what happened to the funky Samba rhythm, meow? I'm going to kick your ass. Quetzal Sisters, the Forest Fourth Dimension. So yeah, the funny thing about, um... Mass is that when they actually do cover the entire face, you actually legitimately don't know who's wearing them. Um, for example, there have been uh, and the most recent example, I guess, is in the WWE with Sin Cara, is that there was the original Sin Cara, and then he got ter terribly injured, so they had to replace him. Um, so what they did is they just put up another Hispanic wrestler. Wait, this sounds weird. One moment. Okay, much, much better. Um... So it's actually kind of hard to tell the difference between the two. Let's see what we got here. Bradamante, perfect. Okay. I don't know why I cut out there for a second, but sure. No, go back. Go here. Go here. I need to get rid of you as soon as possible. Yeah, that should be possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 We can do this, I believe in us. Yeah! <laughs> she beat the crap out of him. I should have unfortunately aimed for Jaguar Warrior, though. But it's fine. I'm pretty sure uh, Quetz is about to knock out Atlanta in one hit. Her furry friends. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now let's. Ooh, I love seeing that MP2. Love seeing that. Love seeing it. Um, but another good example is there was actually a famous match between a woman wrestler. Um, I forget her name, and she was supposed to be fighting the Spider Woman. 
uh, she had fought the Spider Woman in the past, and she noticed that the person had looked different. And so they had the match, and they legit screwed her over and took the title away from her and gave it to the Spider Woman, who ended up being, I think, um, fuck, not Mei Young, Fabulous Mula. Ended up being the Fabulous Mula uh, under the mask, and she legit did not know it was her until the Mula mask was removed. So. There are totally are cases in specifically the wrestling world where nobody had any idea who was under the mask at all. So, some fun facts for y'all. Mm, I should be able to beat him pretty, pretty, beat her pretty quick. Another fun one is of course the um, there was a WCW match between it was like the winner of the Battle Royale got to face Chris Jericho right after it. And there was a dude in the mask, and it was, and he ended. It ended up being him and Super Crazy at the end. That was the name of the wrestler. Um, and when it was just down to them two, they had like a conversation in the ring, and then he left the ring. Super Crazy left the ring, leaving the guy in the mask. Um, and then the reveal was is that it had been. Um, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name right now. He's a very good wrestler. He's a very technical wrestler, but I forget his name. The man of a thousand holds. Man of a thousand... It's gonna bother me, man. Because he was like with Christian... Man of a thousand... Holds. Wrestling. Dean Malenko. God, why did I forget Dean Malenko's name? Dean Malenko was really cool. But yeah, it ended up being Dean Malenko, and Chris Jericho had up, up to that point been criticizing his dead father for weeks when Dean Malenko was off air because he retired from wrestling after his father died, I think, or something. So he came back, beat his ass. It was real fun. Everyone had a good time except for Chris Jericho. But that was a super fun moment. If you actually go back, I think it's one of the loudest pops in WCW history. This isn't how it was supposed to go. What? Being overeager for victory can actually make children dislike you? That is quite a conundrum. <gasps> it's over. The difference in New Quetzal Mass fighting style really worked in our favor. In retrospect, getting poison might have been the best thing that happened for this fight. Fall. Hey, hey, I won. I won. We became this the Lord with us. We won because the Lord is with us. Why else? Agreed, though I have to say, you really surprised me. I had no idea you were so good at melee attacks, too. It was almost like watching Coach Martha. Talk about being pure of heart. She really does take people at their word, doesn't she? I lost the Count Dracula, but bleh! Um, is it just me, or does she actually seem holier now? <gasps> the whole time? <laughs> no way! Aww. Bradamanta, you fucking moron. I feel totally fine after taking a day off. After taking a day off to rest, yes. I can even dance a samba at 120% power. Like, <laughs> I am the <laughs> power freezer of samba. <laughs> That <laughs> was worth it. Thank goodness, I'm so glad you're back to your old self. No need to fill me in. I can tell you how the match went from your mood. Felicidad. Congrats on your victory. But why does Brother Monte look so glum even after you won? She's still reeling from learning the new Quetzal mask was actually Martha. Not to mention. Is it wrong to be one with a secret substitute? I'm not so sure what a holy knight should do. As long as you weren't disqualified or cheating, then it doesn't count, no? If it did, we'd never have moves like Poison Mist or being able to use Corkscrew during bouts. That's actually true. Poison Mist attack is a legal maneuver. Just so you know, I had my reservations about this too, okay? I even said no at first. But if Quetzalcoatl told you, surely St. Nicholas would want you to fight in a mask. <laughs> surely St. Nicholas would want you to fight in a mask to protect his honor, yes? Wouldn't you be inclined to agree with her too? Besides, we can't let the true Santa power fall into the wrong hands and silly St. Nicholas's name. That's the most important thing here. Cowardice is always a matter of perspective. 
If winning will serve justice and losing will allow injustice, then winning is all that matters. I'm certain even you fought battles in the past where you didn't always loudly proclaim you who you were at, at the outset. Well, yes, that's true. Wait, who are you again? Ho, ho, ho. It's me, Santa Senor. <laughs> she came to pay a visit, yes? I had joined the tournament. I, I keep wanting to do fucking Dracula. I had joined this tournament on behalf of Western Asia, but unfortunately, I ended up losing. Didn't you say it was against the rules to have the same Santa two years in a row? Well, yes. But if I had successfully gained the true Santa power, then I would be Neo Santa. It's completely different. Surely no one would take issue with me repeating a year if I underwent drastic change of image, right? Anyway, it wouldn't be any fun to just pack and leave now, so with that pesky feline out of the way, I thought this would be a good chance to come see you again, and to get a look at the Charlemagne's niece. Hmm? You know his Imperial Majesty? Ho ho ho. Maybe not certain things about my relationship are complex and difficult to define. <laughs> right. Anyway, now that we've won, all's well that ends well. And with Quetzalcoatl back in action, my stress relief... Wait. My stress relief, namely being guiltied into being a ringer, is over. While I wish I would welcome you with a pot of my famous stew, I'm afraid we just don't have time now. Between Quetzalcoatl's fighting instinct rehab and our strategy meeting for the next match, there's just too much on our- uh, too much else on our plate, I'm sorry. Stew, huh? Too bad. Would have loved to try some. That's alright. Santa doesn't get hungry. Uh, Santa Senor? I think you got your inner and outer voices mixed up. Oops, silly me! Ho ho ho! I'll be glad to sample your stew some other time. More importantly, I need to warn you about your next match. You mean you have some info about our opponents in the semifinals? Not exactly. Then again, maybe I do. This is really just a feeling. Call it sheep's intuition. Your next match will be the sixth in the tournament, the semifinals. The last hurdle to overcome before presumably facing off with Black Quetzal Mask in the finals. They're bound to be the most skilled team in the tournament. It's not that I doubt you, but I expect you're going to have a hard time against them. Doesn't matter how skilled they are, we can handle anything. Between Quetzalcoatl being back in action, the fighting styles Coach Martha taught me, Manager slash trainer Wokey's top notch support, and Lord Fall's sheer adorableness. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think that that will be enough. What do you mean? It's simple. If what you have right now isn't enough, then you need something more. And I'm certain you already know what that is. Surely it must have crossed your minds at least once or twice before. Can you tell us what you're talking about? Alright, what you lack is a killer finisher. And unless you can come up with one, you will struggle to win the next fight. Ho ho ho. Fee. Nish. Her? That's actually a direct arc reference to Kaniku Man. Kaniku Man, for the longest time, didn't have, I think, the Kaniku Buster, is one of the things. Alright. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you tomorrow for the next installing and enthralling episode of Samba Night, Holy Night. Goodbye, everyone.